Hello everyone. I'm going to be reading The Word Collector today by Peter H. Reynolds, one of my very favorite authors. Look at all these words. Sometimes I get a word stuck in my head. For some reason it just is a really cool word. Has that ever happened to you? Collectors collect things. Some people collect stamps. Some people collect coins. Others collect rocks. Some collect art. Some collect bugs. Others collect baseball cards. Some people collect comic books. And Jerome, what did he collect? Jerome collected words. Wonder. He collected words he heard. My trip to Peru was perfectly pleasant. Certain words caught his attention. There's a lot of peas up there, aren't there? One, two, three, four different peas in that one sentence. He collected words he saw. Willow tea shop. Oh, he liked the word willow. Wrote it in his notebook. Certain words jumped out at him. He collected words he read. Certain words popped off the page. Short and sweet words. Spark, bloom, drift, dream. Two syllable treats. Treasure, motif, whisper, glimmer, hover, candid. And multi-syllable words that sounded like little songs. Geometry, guacamole. Kaleidoscope, wonderful, symphony. There were words he did not know the meaning of at first, but they were marvelous to say. Aromatic, vociferous, effervescent. There were words whose sounds were perfectly suited to their meanings. Molasses, torrential, tyrannosaurus, rex, smudge, bellow. Jerome filled his scrapbooks with more and more of his favorite words. Jerome's collections grew when he began organizing them. Dreamy, science, sad, action, poetic. And one day while transporting them, that means moving them, Jerome slipped and his words went flying. Oh boy, that would make me just so sad and frustrated if I had spent all that time organizing all my words and then they all flew apart. As he began to pick them up, he noticed his collections had become jumbled. Big words next to little words, sad words next to dreamy words. Jerome began stringing words together. Whisper, symphony, electric, peace. Words he had not imagined being side by side. Savor, dreams, cascading, stars. He used his words to write poems. He used his poems to make songs. They moved, they delighted. Some of his simplest words were his most powerful. I understand. I'm sorry. Thank you. You matter. Jerome eagerly collected more and more of his favorite words. The more words he knew, the more clearly he could share with the world what he was thinking, feeling, and dreaming. One breezy afternoon, Jerome climbed the highest hill, pulling a wagon packed with his word collection. Hmm, I wonder what he's gonna do. He smiled as he emptied his collection of words into the wind.
he saw children in the valley below scurrying about, collecting words from the breeze. Jerome had no words to describe how happy that made him. Reach for your own words. Tell the world who you are and how you will make it better. Peter Hamilton Reynolds. Wow, what an awesome book. Words really can do so much, have so many different meanings, so we put them together in different ways. Hope you have a great day.